in this quick video, I'm going to show you how you can turn your voice memos from the iPhone to MP3 format. For some reason, Apple doesn't like this type of format, even though it's being universally used and it's actually the best one as far as compressing goes. For some reason, Apple doesn't like it, so we're going to have to manually convert it. So let's actually get started with it. First of all, make sure that your voice memos are ready. So at first, you of course have to record the stuff that you need to convert. Then once you are inside the voice memo app, then make sure to locate the voice memo that you want to convert and go to the menu or more option by clicking on the three dots. This will give you the option if you scroll down just a bit to save this recording to the files app of the iOS. So of course you need to have like a newer version of iOS, we're not talking about like iOS 10 or so, but anyways. So make sure to save it in the app and also know where exactly it's gonna be located. That means that if you save it to downloads, you have to kind of remember it, I guess. Then what you have to do is to download a third party app for documents. It's uh, the one that was formerly called Documents 5, now it's just called Documents, but don't worry, it's a free app and you can of course find it down below in the description, the link that will get you to the App Store. So make sure to download the app. Once you open it up, there isn't pretty much any files since it's a fresh app, but in the lower right corner you have a web browser icon. So you can use this app to access the internet using the web browser. So tap on it and now just go to a website which allows you to convert files. Some of the examples are going to be down below in the description, but the best one that you should go with is probably convert.io. And once you located this app, if there is any ad that pops up along the way, just of course close it. You can use multiple tabs in the, this sort of browser within the documents app and just go to the website. By the way, guys, if you are new on this channel, what you can do is to support me with your thumbs up and also subscribe so you don't miss the next videos in the future. So once you are inside the documents app and inside the browser, you typed in the website name and now you can see the option to like import or select files. It may happen that when you tap on it for the first time, it's going to ask you for a Dropbox and Google Drive. So tap on each one of those or any one of them, it actually does not matter. And when you click on select files once again, it will give you some of the options like take a photo then a select um, already taken photo or a browse. And you have to click on the browse option and that's gonna open up the files app. Remember the recording with, that we actually saved in the files app. So now it is time to find it and select it. So just click on the recording that we saved and want to convert. And now inside the app, just follow the steps. You can even add more files, I believe, that you want to convert at the same time. But just scroll down just a bit and click on start converting and just wait for it to actually happen. And once it's finished, then you will simply be able to download the file within the documents app. So you're gonna have the same voice recording that you took using the stock voice memo app on the iPhone, and you're gonna have it saved as MP3 format in the documents app. And from this, you can do whatever you want with it. You can use it in some projects, you can share it to a MacBook using AirDrop. I mean, you can share it even if it's not MP3 from the voice memo, but we're talking about MP3s. So now you are pretty much free to do whatever you want with it. But to come back, a step back to the website, um, of course, taken for granted or it's like a common sense that you're going to pick the MP3 format as the conversion file. I mean, I, it kind of makes sense, but you have to make sure that we are actually converting to MP3 and there are even some other settings that you can take into consideration like the quality, I guess, and some other stuff, which isn't really that important at the end, but it is there. Like, you can actually pick from the bitrate and stuff like that, audio channels. I mean, you don't really have to mess around with it unless you know what you are doing, but simply importing the files in M4A format in order to convert it to MP3 should be enough and should get the job done. So this is pretty much it. I really do hope that you enjoyed this video. 
in case it actually helped you and you found it valuable. What I want you to do is to leave a thumbs up on this video just in order to let me know that it actually helped you. You can leave a comment, I will definitely read it and perhaps reply to it because I read all of the comments I get, so I will definitely do that. And also for more videos like these in the future, make sure to stay tuned by subscribing, by of course clicking on the red subscribe button. Thanks a lot for watching again and see you guys later in the next video. Peace out.